Well, listen, we are getting super excited for game day, and we thought, why not have some fun and serve up the deliciousness? Because nothing matches the unique smoky flavor that you get when cooking with a quality charcoal grill, making it the ideal choice for any braai. Now, it's your ticket to mouth-watering meals that will leave everyone craving for more. And this morning, we are dialing up the heat and making an apricot lemon snook served with roosterkoek just in time for the weekend games that are ahead, as well as Friday. I mean, what a great way to serve Friday. I'm just so happy to be braying in studio. This is the best time of my life. Let's do this. And um, I'm a big fan of snook. It's always actually, for me, snook for a braai in my sort of braai culture at home is always the starter. Yes. It's very quick. It's easy. You plonk it on the table and then everybody else can just enjoy and indulge while you're busy with the other meats. But what are you doing over there? So we are going to make a apricot jam marinade. So I've nice. got some apricot jam and we, we just heated it a little bit to make it easier to be pourable. I'm adding a little bit of lemon juice, some melted butter. Wacey, if you don't mind, can you chop up some herbs? In fact, we can just add the herbs. Yes, but I will crush we'll them finally for you. crush them for yes. me. We're adding some melted butter okay. and we're going to add a bit of garlic nice and we're going to season with salt and pepper okay great stuff oh we've mixed the salt in there we've got a lot of pepper <laughs> oh there we go that's okay i like i like a lot of pepper and okay. you want to season this properly oh i love do you want some of some in there Why add not? some in there Let's go for it. add, a add bit. some of the dull and that'll be, gonna be rustic with decoration this. afterwards and this is the marinade that we're going to gently brush onto our snook now, do you want to get started on our fit cook? Absolutely. So the thing is, I'm going to just grab just a nice punch of this, okay? And the great thing is, actually, I've got some of the herbs in here. So now I've actually dotted it with some herbs. Oh, fantastic. Always good. That's and I'm going to work it a bit more. And I've got super hot coals here. I would suggest you do it on medium coals. So that you don't burn, so it does get a chance to cook in the inside. What happens with hot coals, then it burns on the outside. So make sure you're either splitting your coals or you have medium coals on your particular fire, which is very important. Amazing. What are you doing next? So before I brush our snook with our apricot marinade, yes. I just want to let you know that today we are using Weber's original kettle to make our delicious dish. Nice. Now, Weber's range of charcoal barbecues offers something for everyone, from portable Great. smokers to their versatile Kamado series to the original and time-tested kettle series grill. Now, direct brine is a versatile high heat method used to cook relatively small to thin pieces of food really quickly. We've got a very thin piece of snook here, so you really do not want to overcook this. And when it comes to indirect brine, it is the right method for cooking thicker foods using low medium heat. And adjusting the air dampers will also increase or decrease your temperature, and the more air going in into the braai, the hotter the braai will get. You know when Love people it. say, let's get the coals going on blast Yes. <sighs> yep. Yep. That's to get more mm. heat going. And remember to always keep the lid on. Always. So I know you said the, the coals are a little hot yes. for you, but so you're going to work with I'm it? I'm working it. Don't worry. I got you covered. And I'm going to... And you're basting. And that's beautiful. You know, that's... that's Baste that's our marinade. And we'll add this to the coals as well. Also, I can confirm that I have zero forearm hair left. <laughs> uh, the coals are that hot. I feel it. And that's, you know, who needs forearm hair anyway? It's like that. It's great. Just like that. Beautiful. And then we work it through, and then we'll use that a little bit later. But so oh. far, it's looking good. It's puffing up nicely. As mentioned, medium coals preferable, but we're going to work with this anyway, just to make sure. Uh, and also, just be very careful with hot coals, please. I don't want you to burn your fingers. All right. And what do you have there? I've got da, our da, da. fish ready. I can just add it over here, but I think we want to yes. maybe finish off our roaster cookies. Uh, I actually gave you, gave you a bit of a gap there if you want to, but obviously this is super warm, so we're going to want to make sure that... Uh, you want to get the lid on eventually. Exactly. It'll get there eventually. Oh. So far it's looking good. I mean, I've got, really got a roaster cook puffing up nicely over here. Beautiful. So it needs a bit more time, so that it'll, it'll take its time over there. And I mean, this is a great marinade if you also want to maybe dip your roaster cook yes. into this apricot marinade that we made. A great way to just make sure you kill all the bacteria, just heat it up in the microwave for a couple of seconds, and you are ready to also dip your roaster cook into oh, yes, that apricot marinade. I mean, for me, a roaster cook broiki, it needs to be, when it comes to the toppings, you want that butter, 
You want that jam, you oh, want yeah. that cheese, you want that meat, you just want to really fill it, but also enjoy it on its own. Lovely. This is going well so far. Okay, and you can just keep basting. This is great though. Okay, we're going to keep on basting, and the roaster cook is going to complete itself over here. I think what we can do is, you can go and chill, maybe get the fire started, why not? It's that type of weekend, here is Day weekend. Don't wait for the weekend, just dry in the morning, why not? Okay, have breakfast. And there we go. And while we're enjoying our apricot snook and fet cook, if you want to get your hands on this recipe, you can simply head on over to our website, expressoshow.com. Hmm, looking good.